at the outset, we pay homage to Shikshan Maharishi, late Sri Dada Sahib Rege, the man who planted the Balmohan sapling in 1940. More than seven glorious decades since its inception, Balmohan Vidyamandir today is a fully grown tree with its roots firmly entrenched in Dada Sahib's ideals. Utsav, the name itself signifies celebration and festivity. Utsav at Bal Mohan is a forum for self-expression, a showcase of talents and a beautiful example of teamwork. Utsav provides students with an opportunity to exhibit their creative best, shed stage fright and enhance confidence. At Balmohan, we believe that participation is more important than performance. No role is trivial or insignificant. We all know that little drops make the mighty ocean. And so, every child has an important part to play in this gala ocean of festivities that we call Utsav. Therefore, care is taken to ensure that every child is assigned a part for which he or she is best suited. We also thank the parents for their help, support and cooperation to make Utsav a grand success. So, sit back, relax and be a part of the celebration that we call Utsav. Extend my warm greetings and a glad welcome to Utsa 2016, the annual cultural pageant of Balmohan Vidyamandir. We begin the evening by paying homage to the founder of the institution, Shikshan Muharshi, late Sri Tada Sahib Devi, who continues to inspire us even today and whose ideals we strive to abide by. Every school organizes an annual cultural program. Then what is so different about our Utsav? Our Utsav is a symbol of glorious time. A time to celebrate unique talent and skill of every student. A time to appreciate our culture and tradition. A time to overcome fears build confidence and grow. A time for joy, fun and frolic. A time to forge a strong bond between school, students and parents. And most importantly, a time to celebrate and create wonderful memories to look back on. And to join this spectacular celebration we have amidst us trustee in charge and director Shri Guru Prasad Rege, preschool in charge and HRD coordinator Srimati Chitra Barve, principal of secondary section Srimati Rupa Roy, principal of primary section Srimati Babita Penta, head of the community school Srimati Shital Nerukar. Our esteemed guests, parents, teachers, and our dear students. As has been our tradition, we seek blessings from the Almighty through the school prayer. Kindly remain seated for the same. <laughs>
building a community at all levels. Like most theorists, we believe that leaders are made by honing inherent skills. The School Student Council is a step in that direction. The Student Council, elected through a democratic process, has become an indispensable part of the school structure. Presenting before you the Student Council body of 2016-17. On stage we have with us head boy Aditya Chaudhary, head girl Nishita Savan, flanked by assistant head boy Indranil Soshi. Flanked by assistant head girl Zai Bari. <laughs> Captain of Aruni House, Ria Nadkarni. <laughs> Vice Captain, Vedant Karan Konda. <laughs> Captain of Eklavya House, Ronit Lakhwani. <laughs> Vice Captain, Ishan Acharya. Captain of Dhruva House, Ananya Bediz. <laughs> Vice Captain, Ishan Mapsekar. <laughs> Captain of Pralhat House, Arish Bandivadekar. <laughs> Vice Captain, Vedant Naik. <laughs> the council members serve with pride, lead with confidence, and inspire to impact lives. The council members are true Balmond Knights in thought and action, and are being accorded the honor of leading the school choir in the rendition of the school anthem. May I now request the audience to rise for the same.
eventful for us. There have been occasions on which we have emerged victorious and celebrated with guests gusto while, to, while learning and reminding ourselves that the next time we can and we will. I would now like to call upon our respected principal, Mrs. Rupa Roy, an articulate speaker, a seasoned preceptor, and a navigator of this flagship of knowledge, to present the preamble of school's achievement, the annual report. number of times I was always an honor and a privilege to present the report card of this esteemed institution. It's a wonderful December afternoon, it's a festive air outside and we bring some of it to our Utsav as well. Nehru Center has always been kind to us. I hope you have a good show today. So let me begin with what I am standing here for today. With due honor, I address our director, respected director and trustee in charge, Sri Guru Prasad Rede, in charge of preschool, our 360 degree center and HR coordinator, Chitra Barve Madam, principal of the primary section, Srimati Babita Benta, head of our community school, Srimati Sheetal Nerulkar, guests, teachers, parents, and my dear students. A very warm welcome to you, to Utsav, one that you look forward to the whole year round. This year we complete 17 glorious years. With your cooperation and support, we have covered many milestones, some good, there have been certain places we've needed your support more than anywhere else and we are always glad to get it. Our primary objective is to create pupils with good character and to empower them to face the challenges of life, to make them able adults. We systematically encourage students to in and inculcate in them a feeling of self-respect, discipline, team building, and above all, bonding. In the virtual world that we live in, human bonding becomes more important than anything else. An annual report gives an indication of how well a school has fared. Everyone in the school gets a report card, so it's always fair that the school gets one too. So without further ado, let's see Bal Mohan Vidya Mandir's report card for the academic session 2016 and 17. Please note that the report is mid-session because we've just finished our first term. So we will, our report will be from the second term of the previous academic session to this term, the first term. We had our sixth batch of students take the secondary school certificate examination this year. As usual, without sounding complacent, let me say our students did us proud and we got a 100% result, as usual. Thank you. The students do the hard work, we take the credit. It works that way. 27 of the 70 students appearing have scored 90% and above. Shriya Pradhan topped the school with a whopping 97.40%. Stuti Nadkarni and Dhuy Chavan placed second with 96.40%. And Shantanu Bodhbori stood third with 96.20%. Shriya Pradhan also was given the Mumbai Divisional Board's second place. That is the general category and not the one reserved for girls. While we talk of Shriya Pradhan, last year I had mentioned her as having qualified for the prestigious 
Balashri competition. With great pleasure and with great pride and joy, I announce that Shriya Pradhan has won the National Balashri competition. She represented Maharashtra in the creative writing category. Her topic was an unforgettable journey. Hopefully, she will be the president's guest for the next Republic Day. In the, our students like a lot of examination, our parents like them even more. So let me get to the examination results. In the Ganit Prabhutva Sparta 2016, six students of standard eight were declared successful, with Swayam Chube getting top honors. In the, thank you. Swayam will be pleased. In the Brihad Mumbai Ganit Adhyapak Mandal Maths Quiz, again Swayam Chube back the first prize in the senior category. Uh, while I read out the results, I will be confining myself to the first and second only. There are always others who have had many prizes. We will put them all together and we wish them well and do credit to them as well. Examinations are not necessarily a bad thing, though I did mention they are fond of them. And uh, it's good com competition tests the mettle of students. And the students appear in many examinations such as the Maharashtra Talent Search Examination, the, ta the National Talent Search Examination. Math seems to be a favorite subject, so they appear for Ganit Prabhutva Examination and the Ganit Prabhutva Sparta. In the currently uncertain financial times that we live in, awareness of money matters is a must, that too at a very young age. Thus, we ourselves encourage our students to take the National Financial Literacy Assessment Test. Last year there were few. This year, six, 90 appeared this year, some as young as from standard six as well. So that's a good achievement. Why don't we have a round of applause for that? While on the examinations, let me tell you some of the other results as well. In the Maharashtra Talent Search examinations, the results were declared long back April 2016. Advait Pabdi was awarded the state scholarship at, of the standard 8th level. At the same level, Aryan Thakur ranked 4th at the district level. In the 9th standard level, Kamaya Shikhar Khani ranked the state level prize and was ranked overall 15th. At the Bhumi Bhava Bal Vaidyanik examination, Abhni Shapre and Parna Desai won the silver medal in the junior group. The mathematics concept examination always has been a fertile field for our students. Success rate has always been high. Of the 48 standard five students who appeared, 17 scored 80% and above. Ayush Patil and Rajeshwari Mitra scored 96%. Of the 22 students from Standard 8 who appeared, 22 cleared the examination. With 5 students having scored 90%. Apoorva Raja Daksha, I'm sure her mother, father are in the audience. She scored a whopping 98%. Competition is a reality in the world we live in. And as a school, it is our duty to prepare students to hold their own once they step out of the school platform. They should be winners in every which way. So we try to develop that spirit of competition where the participant says, yes, participating is more important than winning. But winning is, of course, the more desirable result. So students participate in numerous inter-school as well as competitions within the school. Let me say that at the school level, the ones in which are inter-house, all the students take part. For example, 
in the inter-house handwriting competition which is held the moment the school reopens, every single child of every single class is a participant. The best ones are narrowed down and further and further till the final stage wherein we call in external judges who are experts in their field and from there on in an impartial environment the winners are declared, which we do think is a good way to go about things. The elocution competition for standard 9 and 10 has the forum of free enterprise as our collaborators and the judges were of repute. The winner of this event goes on to participate at the Mumbai level. Nishita Sawan, our head girl, was the winner and will represent Balmohan Vijayamandi for the Mumbai level competitions. Aditi Dani stood second while Akansha Patrikar back the third position. The Interhouse Pen B and Interhouse Quiz had the four houses fighting it out on stage for top honours. These are very interestingly prepared by our teachers. Audiovisual rounds are included. And the students sometimes weigh them at a higher level than the ones they win elsewhere because their friends are there cheering them on and it makes a whole world of difference. Let me go on to the inter-school competitions. Our students have won many prizes. We especially like to participate in the festival, inter-school festival, Uran, because we win a lot of prizes usually. Someday they'll stop giving us that many prizes because they'll be accused of so many other saying that, okay, the school is partial to us, but we will try to make sure that we keep winning. We won the best school shield and the Uran rotating coach. For every participant, there are points awarded, so the larger the contingent, the better it is. There were seven first prizes, nine second prizes, and four third prizes. Yeah, that's me being very overjoyed and happy. At Anurag, the festival of love held on the occasion of Gandhi Jayanti, Chaitanya Toraskar and Kostov Lad won the second place. At Spin a Yarn competition, it's very appropriate for them because these two keep us entertained throughout the day as well. The Balmohan Choir Group won the third prize in fusion singing at Anura. Like every year, our students took part in the Gandhi Smile competition. Nidhi Shah won the second place in the Gujarati education competition. There were many others who won very many other prizes also. We Are the World is an interesting competition organized by HR Rotaract Club. The team of Oja Staskar and Johan Dandekar won the second prize in the Get Smart Quiz. Now, We Are the World has very uh, nice competitions, differently devised, and, the, and the, it's very interesting for the students to participate. In another category, A Rich Man's World Shark Tank. It was an advertisement game wherein they were given time and material to create an ad and our team of Tanushri, Shaumik, Raghavi, Ruta and Smeet, they won the second prize. With brilliant effort put in by Nishita Sawant, Avignya Ranekar, Ishan Damla, Indranil Joshi and Anika Tambe, we bagged the third place in the management games category called Megamind. Our school has started participating in various model United Nations also. For the first time, we participated in the prestigious SVP Institute of Technologies, MUN, in the month of February. Participating for the very first time and yet being adjudged, the best speaker of the Security Council was Jen Sargis. Again, in another event organized by the Rotaract Club of Shivaji Park, 
three of our students, Aditya Chaudhary, he was bad, he got the best speaker award of the Security Council. Shami Gulgule was the runner-up at the Human Rights Council. And Nishita Sawan was given a special mention. Her name finds a special mention in very, many, very, many places in our annual report as well. She is a head girl who has proved herself well, very well to us. Nishita's parents, if you are in the audience, you have a very bright child. You have just bright. Ignite, an IT-related competition organized by the Insight Club of HR College, Kushi Shilvarkar and Mansi Bhutukare won the second prize for the PowerPoint presentation. Arjun Pansare and Nakul Chawla won the second prize in movie making. Arjun and Chaitanya stood third in the IT quiz competition and Vedant Karan Konda and Chaitanya Pandit won the first and second place respectively in chasing the keys competition. Their friends are in the auditorium, that's why they're getting the loudest cheers. At Vivek Utsav, organized by Ram Krishna Mutt, also known as Swami Vivekananda Competitions, we won a number of prizes. We usually do that. Among the juniors, Arya Mangaukar, Anushka Rao and Pranesh Palulekar stood first, second and third respectively in Marathi education. Ananya Sharma and Anushka Rao bagged the first and second position respectively in the Hindi education. In the senior category, Jai Sabnis won the first prize in English education. Drashti won the second place in the Hindi education. Aditi and Chaitanya were awarded first position in Marathi education. Radhvi and Sanjana were awarded the second and third place respectively. The current edition of Vivekat's Utsav is still on and I hope to give you the results during the next annual report. As you see, our students win prizes in all, com at, in all languages and we particularly encourage our students to take up Hindi Rashtra Bhasha Pariksha as well as the French Olympiad. We found that the Hindi Rashtra Bhasha Pariksha is of, the certificates are of great importance even when they grow up. These are an acknowledgement of their knowledge of Hindi, which is, uh, seems to be required for very many government examinations and positions these days. Our students participated in the ward level science exhibition. We are proud to announce that the senior group, Ishan Apte and Tej Patre, won the first prize. The team of Aniket Kelkar and Amit Ghosh won the second place in the ward level science quiz. Now those were the examinations. Let me move on to sports. Sports is always a little more interesting to everybody concerned. Success in sports of course takes a little bit more because it's a matter of physical training, mental strength and sheer tenacity. You cannot give up. Skill, training, practice, everything plays a role. It also becomes particularly important for a school student to balance academics and sports. We at Balmohan Vidya Mandir try to ease the way. If a student is doing well in sports, we try to make sure that the balance is maintained. This year's highlight has been the success of our girls in rhythmic gymnastics and badminton. <laughs> rhythmic gymnastics requires flexibility, balance and grace. Intense regular training is a must. Now the success stories are indeed very long stories, so I'll keep it short. We put up the achievements on the slide and I will just tell you the name. First we have Nishka Kali, returned from Hong Kong day for yesterday. We'll move on to Shriya Kulkarni's achievements. And we have Mihika Bandi Vadekar as well, who is part of that. A very pretty one. Miles to go for all of them, and they will reach greater heights. Of that, there is no doubt. 
Arya Thakur is currently our most successful softball player. Interestingly, Aryan Thakur took up the sport this year only and found that he is brilliant. So one never knows where one's talents are exposed. Judokar Aditya Tambe <laughs> continues his medal game screen. Now the one in the center is how he looks usually. Very serious and stern. The ones on the sides are just because he's wearing the medals. The badminton playing duo, Sanya Shivankar and Shivani Bendekar, are clearly unstoppable. They have been winning for years together. I wish the girls the very best because they are really, really hardworking. Very often their exams and the matches are on the same day. So they write their exams starting 7 o'clock in the morning and go for their matches. That is indeed admirable because they've got to be prepared for the exams as well. Shriya Mahindale won bronze medal at the state level. Now the spelling always gets me because it's a form of martial art. It's spelled as S-Q-U-A-Y and we are supposed to pronounce it Shikai martial art. I don't know in which language that is, but she's good at this. In archery, Sartak Kunde continues his winning streak. Ria Nadkarni secured the second place in karate organized by the DSO. Vaishnavi Nar secured the second position in the inter school badminton competition organized by DSO. Mithil Patwardhan is part of the state level team for Tug of War. It's not a party game, it's not a team sport, it's a competitive sport. Tug of War, they actually hold big time competitions for that. Now, let us take a look at our DSO badminton teams. The boys did well. You see that? But the girls did much, much, much better. They are the champions. The MSSA badminton team. Again, the girls did brilliantly. In soft tennis, our girls and boys are part of the state team. They are Radhvi, Samia, Ishan, Aryan, all part of the state team now. Now let's get back to school. That's our home turf. In the inter-house football team games, that is the inter-house football matches, that is the one which generates the maximum excitement. The entire Shivaji Park knows the day we have our inter-house football match. Uh, the students enjoy themselves a lot. We enjoy themselves ourselves a lot. I probably enjoy myself the most. Unfortunately, it didn't rain this year. We Enjoy the rains even more. The semi-finals were good, there were puddles, but on the day of the proper finals, the rains had cleared up completely. <coughs> Better luck next year for us. Maybe it will really, really rain. Our annual sports day was a day when sportsmanship <coughs> comes to the fore. There's plenty of excitement actually. I mean, more than the medals are anywhere else. The laughter and merrymaking and the sheer enjoyment that goes on those who don't run, they make sand castles in Shivaji Park. So that is very nice. That's another level of competition. <coughs> Our house points are awarded for all intra-school competitions, which include handwriting, poetry, the various quizzes, English elocution. In fact, every competition that is held has a house point to it. At the end of the year, we will tabulate and the best house will be declared. All the festivals are celebrated with a lot of fanfare, gusto and such a tradition in our school. I particularly like Matrudin because the students write a letter to their mother. In today's time, it's not just writing a letter to one's mother that's important. The very fact of writing a letter itself has become of 
something that is rare, that too on an inland letters that we have. I don't think, uh, apart from our the parents who get these letters, anybody else probably receives these letters anymore. So keep them safe. In years ahead, once the inland letters are no more, you will be able to show others that yes, I got this from my child. Distribution of Shri Purma on Eid, making of rakis, breaking off the pots on Dahiyandi, playing Ras Garba, etc. brings in a sense of belonging to the students, keeps them rooted. It particularly strengthens the bond of love among the students. School friendships last forever and these are what creates bonds. Baladan is a very special day for us as it is celebrated as a universal birthday for all students. Another very special day is the Grandparents' Day, where the toddlers of preschool have their grandparents accompanying them to school and they entertain them with their innocence and song and dance and whatever else they do. What they do is not important, but that's a day where the parents take a back seat and the grandparents are the center of attraction and the most important people there. In our endeavor to create a stimulating and creating environment, we organized Kaleidoscope, which gives an opportunity for the students to showcase their creative arts. There is a full form of Kaleidoscope. Can we have that slide up, please? During the previous presentation, I found it difficult to read it, so they put it up on the slide now. It is a part of our belief that good health is not an option, but a must. Our Friday lunch menu ensures that healthy eating habits become a part of our lives and the palates are familiarized with a variety of food. Our parents who are in the medical field, they always coordinate with us to do the health checkups. One year we have the eye checkup and the other year a dental checkup. This year we had the eye checkup. Thank you to the parents who coordinated this. It sometimes becomes difficult for them to get in enough parent volunteers. If any of you are part of the medical fraternity and willing to help, once the request is sent out, please do pitch in. We try to bring in originality and creativity in all our activities and field trips. We have on the spot demonstration and educational excursions from time to time. The sixth and the fifth standard, they went to Bhaja Caves to connect with the nature on a personal level and to just have a fun day out. Treks are also organized to very many places and the people who are part of the nature club are called eco buddies. We will be continuing to organize very many nature club activities. This year has been a little off because of things which were beyond our control, we will take them forth from 2017 onwards. Social service is something which the standard 9 and 10 involved themselves with. The standard 10 had their field trip where they <coughs> were trained to be, or rather they tried to be farmers for a day and found out that it was very, very hard work indeed. And, uh, Simply putting on the grass often becomes very difficult for them because that is not what city kids usually do. The highlight, of course, is the standard 10 excursion to Goa, where apart from sightseeing and everything else, there's a lot of bonding between the teachers and the students and among the students themselves. Very necessary. It also gives them a break from the regular studies at home. They don't carry their books in standard 10. Taking a three to four day break seems to be a big achievement for them. Orientation sessions are an integral part of our school. Growing up is aimed at the physical and psychological development of our youngsters and it is taken up in a logical and scientific manner. Career counseling also happens for, a senior, for the senior students. Very many other orientation programs are also held as and when required. 
If any of you are, have some fine ideas, we would be always ready to hear them. So do get in touch with us. The Balmohan Community School, ably headed by Shekhar Ma'am. It is an extension of the intrinsic philosophy of Balmohan Vidya Mandir, that is the all-round development of every single student of the school. A diverse array of extracurricular activities are organized there, bearing in mind the interests and hobbies of the children. If you wish to know anything more about it, do get in touch with us. Also read the circulars very thoroughly. The 360 degree is a formal setup that works towards the in-house training programs of students who are challenged in a certain manner, face difficult situations in life, and it is manned by people who are trained to do so. Our teachers too benefit from the professional and training that they receive via this center. It is a belief that Aware and updated teachers lead to contemporary education in the classroom. Thus, teachers uh, go on for very many trainings, both for regulars as well as children who are specially able. Here, there would be some Manthan members present. A big thank you to all the Manthan members who have supported us throughout the year and will continue to do so. Complete silence. Can we have a round of applause please? Please keep the applause going because this one is for the parent volunteers who are working backstage as we speak. The biggest one is for our teachers who have worked for UTSA. The concept the execution and the delivery is all thanks to the teachers who have worked here. Louder round of applause. Thank you. Leadership is a debatable topic. Our leaders born, our leaders trained. Probably a combination of both. But the fact remains that teams are only as good as their leaders and our young leaders who, can, who earn the right to wear the blazers and the badges in a democratic process are capable. They lead from the front, keeping an eye at the back. The responsibility with which they execute their duties makes them worthy of the trust that has been bestowed upon them. The unstinting support is something I personally Cherish. Can we have a round of applause for them? The Spence Standard is sitting out this year. They deserve the applause. Our purpose is and always will be to provide a happy and caring and safe environment for all the children. Utsav is an example of one such endeavor. Wholehearted involvement by the entire Barnuan Paribal. The parents, the teachers, the students make it a success. Preparations go on for weeks. We captured a few moments here. Everybody enjoys it. I hope you will enjoy it today too. With all of us working together, you, us and everybody else, we hope to reach new milestones soar to new levels. We will leave no stone unturned in fulfilling our dreams. Let us pledge to work together to building a bright tomorrow for our generation next. Together we can and we will. Thank you. Thank you, Rupama. As soon as you start to pursue a dream, your life wakes up and everything has meaning. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. On that note, I step back to return with a cultural show in just a few minutes. Parents concoct a dream world for their children. 
and imagine how their lives will turn out to be. They have a lot of expectations and aspirations. Most of the, most of the expectations are social, moral and ethical, which should be inculcated undoubtedly. Needless to say, those parents obviously desire the best for their child. But sometimes, they attempt at living their unfulfilled life goals and dreams through their children by constantly pushing them to achieve what they couldn't. Right from the time a child is born, the competition starts. He should start walking, talking as early as possible. He should win races, excel in academics, be a good speaker, be a shining star in everything he does. And the list goes on and on and on. Today, the students of Standard 8, 9 and 10 are trying to portray a glimpse of these nurturing, loving or even scolding parents who put their heart and soul, their days and nights and even their hopes and dreams into their children. Will the caterpillar transform into a colourful butterfly? Will the bud blossom into a beautiful flower? Let us watch how the future unfolds. In the act, our dreams, your life. Apple society made Sarvanse Larke, Shri Ganapati Bappa, Yanse Mushak Vahana Varun Agman Zhalya. Tenchi Pranapati Shthapana. थोड़ेच वेळात सुरू होईल तरी सर्व गणेश भक्तांनी त्वरित मंडपाजवळ यावे ही नम्र विनंती आमदार वाईट लागत असतो हो As you all know, 
We always wanted our Ashish to become a CA. And now look, he is burning midnight oil to crack the entrance exam. But, Mrs. Khanna, if I am not mistaken, is he not burning the midnight oil since three years? You are saying he is giving the same exam for three years? That's not a big deal. Do you even know how difficult it is to crack that exam? He will create history by being the only CA in our society. But I think Apli Ganaraya ne aika ve wo mana sarki magne purna bhavi ase jana varte. Tani puri ekka minute ka puja sarki mandap chale. Anyatha Shri Ganaraya apni ichha paachhe hazar cha note an pramane badle shakta na.
I think he is Rahul's son. Oh, is he? Surprisingly, he never mentioned his son was so talented. Hello. Hello. Here he is. Rahul, you don't have any tension. Your career is set. This is also a career. Why not? Let me tell you. It was a visual treat to see him dance. He will surely be an historiographer someday. I still have my doubts. I don't think so. Why not? 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 Why Dance is his passion, and I'm sure it has made a great influence in his life. Who knows? If given an opportunity, he'll someday establish his own dance studio. And believe me, my friend, opening a dance studio is a big business. It involves loads of work, planning, management, and skills. I still have my doubts. But I think I'll reconsider my decision. So, so should I book an appointment with Ronald Gabbard? Yes, I think you should.
heart is a manifestation of feelings conveyed externally by the combination of lines, forms, colors, or a sequence of gestures, sounds of words subject to certain rhythms. I am doing the same with my palette and brush. So, who do you owe your success to? I owe my success to the unconditional support and sacrifice of my parents. My mother motivated me to do something different, and as a result of this, a unique and different art form developed from my fingertips. I am blessed to have such understanding and supportive parents. And now, we have another breaking news for all of you. Here comes Anika along with Rohit. <coughs> Hello, Anika. Hello. Anika, can you hear me? Anika. Anika in the... Anika. Yes, it's Anika. I can hear you. So, what's the news? Friends, today is the day of Rohit. He has won the trophy. Our name is Roshan. Come on, we know their celebration plans. So, Rohit, tell us, how do we celebrate? Do you have any plans for the short winter break? I'll be going to my grandma's place. A village is a witch, the lush green grass and the mountainous terrain. I'm just waiting to distress myself in Mother Nature's lap. And Vikrant, what about you? My parents have planned a trip to Udi and I'm looking forward to it. Oh, how I wish I could join both of you. So Jai, what about you? Would you like to reveal your vacation plan? Sure, why not? My parents have organized a trip to North India. I am so not in for it. But why? I'd rather spend my time attending the GRE seminar, which would help me in preparing for my career abroad. Well, London Dream, come back to reality. You just wait and watch, Tanishka. I will fly abroad. I am a destiny too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> जान रख के तली त्यान हंस के हो कदे खोपड़िया दिना परवाह की थी हो कले काले नशीस लोहाय हंस के हो सनुरे के भासियाँ रोपया हो चूते जदो जवानी ने खाय हंस के हो साढे होशरे ने हार मात जीती आजंगा जीती है ते पंगड़े ते पेश कर देने पंजाब दे कबूल पंजाब दा पर्सनल वर्ल्ड लुक ना पंगड़ा पंगड़ा पंगड़ा
just look at them. What do they gain out of it? Every time, it's not about gaining or losing joy. It's about expressing our emotions, our feelings, our happiness. Happiness? Again, happiness for me would be going abroad, studying hard and making a mark in whatever I do. And coming back to India, serving our countrymen, right? Whoa, hold on, hold on. I have no such plans. I wish to acquire citizenship and settle abroad with my family and... Reality check, Mr. Jeff, back to India. Is settling abroad everything for you? What about our country? What about our fellow men? And what about us? We are friends and we will be, right? Sure we will be. But staying here is out of question. But why? It's our homeland. Oh, please. Just look around our homeland. The dirt of garbage, stench, pollution, corruption, scams. You name it and we have it here. I beg you, Dipper Jai. So much badal rahi hai, desh badal raha hai. Thanks to the various awareness campaigns launched by the government, there is a change in people's perception. Citizens are taking cognizance of their actions towards a society. <coughs> People from all walks of life, in whichever possible way, are contributing towards the development of our nation. I agree. Nevertheless, educational programs, social media, NGOs, celebrities endorsing in public interest are hitting the bullseye. I fail to fathom, Jay, that India doesn't interest you. The world perceives Indian cities like Mumbai as the city of dreams, Chennai as the banking capital of India, Pune as the Oxford of the East and Bengaluru as the Silicon Valley of India. And yet here you are, Jai. Determined to leave the country and be a part of the brain drain. Give it a thought, Jai. Jai, you are blessed that you are born with a silver spoon. Your parents are as supportive as they are well off. Why do you say so? At times, parents do believe in their children and also wish to see them fulfill their dream. But unfortunately, that dream never materializes. But why? Financial crunch. Financial crunch cuts off their wings. And there they fall, with shattered dreams and teary eyes. Money, Jay, the power of money. Hey guys, look what I've got. Now what? These are the tickets for the most awaited Kavali program. Kavali program? That's it. Let's go. Let's go.
जहां हमारे जवान भारत माता की रक्षा के लिए हमेशा तत्पर रहते हैं
she proud? She's made headlines in newspapers worldwide. She's the talk of the town. I'm glad. She's the first Indian to win a gold medal in the Paralympics in the short cut category. Yes. Yes. I heard. She's won eclairs for the country. That's accolades for the country, Mrs. Sahuja. <laughs> What an irony. On one hand, our athletes are winning laurels for our country, and on the other hand, our valorous and indomitable soldiers are trying to resolve the unrest in the valley and establish peace and harmony. I still can't get over Narayan Uncle's loss, whose son sacrificed his life for our country. I salute Narayan Uncle for his undeterred courage and determination. So, in spite of an irreparable personal loss, he is still full of life. I think both of them are more than contented today. And that is just because they let their children's dream and let them live their dream. True, they did not impose their unfulfilled choices or desires <coughs> on their children. I have always forced my choices on Ashish. I was so wrong. No wonder he is still struggling to crack the CA entrance. It's never too late, Mrs. Khanna. I think you should sit and talk to him. Sahi kaha. Aaj zarurat hai hume bacho ko samay dene ki. Unse baat karne ki. Vicharon ka aadhan pradhan karne ki. Kuch samajne ki, kuch samjhane ki. Isi aasha ke saath ki kal wo is desh ke zimmedar aur jaagrik nagrik ban sake. और खुद को एक उज्जवल भविष्य दे सके Yeah.
father dreams. Inside every child lies a heart that beats. And sometimes it screams, refusing to take defeat. And sometimes his father's dreams aren't big enough. And sometimes his mother's vision isn't long enough. And sometimes the child has to dream his own dreams and break through the clouds with his own sunbeams. Dear parents, the greatest gift you can give your children are the roots of responsibility and the wings of independence. There are two simple yet magical words to express a heartfelt gratitude and appreciation for a work well done, a service well provided, a kind gesture, a timely help, and an immense support. The words are, thank you. <laughs> 